thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the saturation and exposure of a clip over time. Meaning we'll start with a nice happy color and then we'll fade into a darker color. So here's how we do that. I'm going to start by clicking on the clip and going up here uh, and clicking this colorful triangle that shows me all the different colors and uh, and it shows me color saturation and exposure. So we already learned how we can just take these and drag them down to change saturation and exposure. But we might want to do that over time. And we do that using keyframes. Keyframes are just uh, moments in our video where we can say we want to start doing something here and we want it to change uh, the next keyframe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click here, and uh, I'm just going to start by touching the exposure thing. And what that does is it puts a check mark in the color uh, board uh, area, and then I can add a keyframe. So I'm going to click sort of midway through the clip here, and I'm going to go ahead and hover up here. And you can see there's a tiny button, and it says in Add Inside Keyframe. I'm going to go ahead and click it, and then what I'm going to do is scroll a little further in my clip, maybe to about here when they start looking in, and we'll add another one. So I'll go ahead and hit plus again. Incidentally, I can jump back to the previous key keyframe with this button and back and forth so we can see the difference as we're making the changes. Okay, so what I want to happen is I want it to start colorful and fade to a washed out color and a lower exposure. So when I have this keyframe selected, you can see I may add a keyframe because it's yellow up here. I'm just gonna drag my saturation all the way down so that it's black and white and I'm even going to drag down my exposure slightly. So what that does is as the clip goes, you can see as I'm scrubbing along my timeline, the slider for exposure is turning down. And if I click here on saturation, again, the same thing happens. It goes from colorful to almost like they're realizing something terrible is happening, maybe. There you go. That's how you can change color and exposure over time using keyframes.